one trip could totally change how you think about midlife. We boarded a plane having no idea where we were going, literally. Flying standby with our daughter Caitlin's flight benefits led us to an unplanned adventure. And what we learned along the way completely changed how we think about travel, health, and midlife. In this video, I'm gonna give you all the details about our exciting and unexpected trip, and then give you three insights from our experience that will help you make the most of midlife. So even if you don't have your passport, Join me as we dive into this unexpected travel destination and the lessons we brought back with us. So this is how it all started. Our daughter Caitlin works for an airline and airlines let you fly standby on their airlines. They also luckily pass those benefits on to her children if she had some and to her parents. The airlines also have a reciprocal program so you can fly standby on other airlines as well, but you have to pay the taxes on the ticket if you do that. So Caitlin had been feeling the urge to try to do this flying standby on other airlines and go to another country. She's fluent in Spanish and so she wanted to go to a Spanish speaking country and asked us to go along. So what do good parents do but say yes. So we boarded a plane early Friday morning from Dallas to Houston. That was easy to get on to because there's lots of flights back and forth from Dallas to Houston. But it was when we got to Houston that we weren't sure where we were going. We'd looked up three different options. There was Panama, Belize, and Costa Rica. And we wouldn't know till we got to that airport. We saw which gates were those three flights and we had to see which one we had the best chance of getting on. And I don't know about you, but I'm an Enneagram six, which means I love to over plan vacations. I have the restaurants picked, the hotel picked, excursions, what we're gonna do. Yes, I'm that person. I've tried to loosen my grip on that a little as we've, as we've gotten older, but I still like to have a little bit of a plan. So this was really out of my comfort zone. Once we got off the plane in Houston, we hurried along to where these gates were and they don't let you know until 30 minutes before whether you get on. And you can kind of guess how many seats are available, but you're not quite sure. And there's no gate agent at this one to tell you what your chances are. So we were sweating it. We were like, okay, where are we going? Are we getting on this plane? Are we gonna go race to try to get on one of those other two planes? And luckily we got on our first choice and that was to San Jose, Costa Rica. Now I had done a little research on each of the destinations and found us a possible hotel in each of those places. So as soon as we got seats on that flight, Brady booked the Hilton in San Jose and it did not disappoint. It was a beautiful hotel. So we knew all we needed to do was get there and get to the hotel and then plan what came next. It's kind of like in midlife. You're excited to get to this empty nest stage, but you're wondering what comes next? What if you had the same anticipation that what is God gonna do in your life next instead of dreading getting older? I think you would enjoy the ride a whole lot more. Costa Rica was a gorgeous country and we planned an excursion for our first day there. We visited a coffee farm and really learned how coffee was grown and harvested and boy, do they know their coffee in Costa Rica. And then we got to go hike up to a volcano and see an active volcano. It was kind of cloudy for that day, but we did get to see it. The wind blew the clouds away a couple times, so we got to see that and it was beautiful hiking, a little cold at the top of that. And then we made our way to a wildlife refuge that had gorgeous waterfalls. The whole time we kept kind of like pinching ourselves like two days ago, we had no idea we were gonna be here in Costa Rica. My family's learned to ask a few questions before they agree to the excursions I book. Because yes, I've had us hiking in rainforests, kayaking long distances, so they wanna know what they're getting into before they say yes. And this excursion this day, it started off slow, but there was a lot of physical effort in the second half of this excursion. My Fitbit told us we climbed 250 floors and took 16,000 steps in this single day. It made me realize sometimes the best adventures are the ones that are unexpected and unplanned. So I'd love to know, do you see yourself more as a planner or more spontaneous? Let me know in the comments. So the first thing that I thought was really important that I learned on this trip is it's so important to stay ready so that you don't have to 
get ready. Remember, we had no extra warning that we were going on this trip. We didn't know about it even the week before. So it was very important that Brady and I have been keeping up with our physical fitness. You hear so much about saving for vacation, saving for retirement, which are very important. Of course, you need the finances to do this, but I want you to also train for it. Train for those vacations, train for those adventures right at home, train for your retirement. Because when you're in the physical shape, you can say yes to adventure whenever it comes. When we got to the wildlife refuge, the guide looked at the group and said, okay, now we're gonna be climbing a thousand steps. And Brady and I looked at each other and said, okay, we've got this. Whether it's a spontaneous trip or just everyday life, staying fit gives you the freedom to fully embrace these moments. One of the biggest lessons I take from any trip, but especially this unexpected one, is the importance of getting out of your comfort zone and, and being open to experiencing new things. In Costa Rica, they have a beautiful saying, Pura Vida, which means pure life. But it's so much more than that. It's a way of embracing life fully, no matter what comes your way. And that's what this trip really reminded me of. From the moment we stepped off the plane, not really knowing much about our destination, to hiking volcanoes and exploring waterfalls, we were living in the moment, embracing the unknown and feeling so alive. That Pura Via mindset is something we can all take into midlife. When we push ourselves beyond our routine, we rediscover the joy and excitement that life has to offer. Another lesson I got reinforced on this trip, yes, I'll tell her sisters, I've already knew this, but adult kids can be so much fun. That's another motivation for Brady and I to stay in good shape so that when the girls invite us to do things, we're ready to go. I dreaded the empty nest because I thought I was losing my daughters, but actually they are so much fun as adults and they pay their own way. This unexpected trip to beautiful San Jose, Costa Rica taught us to always stay ready, to step out of our comfort zone, and to always stay curious. These don't just apply to travel, they apply to life. So I wanna encourage you, don't wait for retirement to start your adventures. The time is now. Now, if you're ready to simplify your life to make more room for fun, check out this video here where I share 10 things you can quit to create space for things that really matter.